Hey, what's good, YouTube? Native Mask Collector back with another Masters of the Universe Origins figure review. Um, I know I've missed Wave 3. I still have it. Just been so busy with other things and whatnot. But my daughter saw these, so I have to open them. So I figured I better do a video of them first. That way she can play with them tomorrow. Um, I got doubles. I got two sets of them. I knew I was going to open one and save another set on card just, just because of the way I have done it forever. But So I get to whatever one has the worst packaging on it, um, defects, crimps, wrinkles, things like that. Those are the ones I kind of open up and, and use and display and whatnot. So we got Hordak and Ninjor. And the reason why I got these two together is that I do not have original figures of these guys. Um, these were two characters that I never had when I was younger um, in the 80s. Um, but I do have Hordak versions from Classics, or I did, I might have sold them. Um, classics, and then I have the Filmation um, Club Grayskull version. And... Um, and I also have the Super 7. Oh yeah, I have the Super 7 version. I can probably get that out and compare it. But that's a filmation color too, so it doesn't really compare very well. But anywho, um, we'll look at these two figures and um, see how they how they are. So let's start out with Ninjor, just because he's a guy that I, I never really... Wasn't really too familiar with him, to be completely honest. So let's take a look at it again. The... The origin cards are really flimsy. Um, they're really easy, easy to damage. So just be careful when you're kind of handling these things. But um, you'll see the, the bubble's pretty big on it yet. Um, again, like we've talked about in the past videos, it's probably the same same exact bubble for most of the characters. Just a different um, insert to hold the figure, just to keep costs down. So the, the big star, Retro Play, the new for 2021 up in the corner. Um, nice vibrant colors on the, uh, on the packaging. Uh, the word Masters is a glossy look to it versus the rest of it. That is pretty uh, matte finish. So, and Masters of the Universe actually has a little gloss to it too. But. Um, looks like we got a new comic called Sneak Attack in there. Let's take a look at the back. The artwork I'm just totally love on these new figures. It's just so um, vibrant. The colors just pop. And um, got Clamp Champ here. He comes out here pretty shortly. I know people have found him out in the wild already. Um, King Randor you can see here in the corner. So I'm sure that's a little foreshadowing of what we're going to see come out. But Ninja uses uncanny stealth abilities to spy on and su surprise attack the heroes of Eternia. Um, you'll see the... So here's the wave 4, Stratos, Hordak, Ninja, Triclops. Um, I will do these two figures together as I have... Or I actually might do them separately because I have multiple... Um, figures from different uh, eras and Skeletor and He-Man and then armed with an array of ninja weapons so he's got a, uh, a bow some nunchucks and a samurai sword and of course you can twist him into powerful battle positions so um, another reason why I didn't open these up the other night was because it has been really cold last couple days you know freezing it snowed yesterday March 28th. Um, they came in on Saturday, on the 27th actually, but it was super cold out and um, they're out on my porch all day. So you know what happens with cold plastic when you try to move stuff around. And I just didn't want to chance the fact or take a chance on it breaking. Cause I know people have been seeing joints break and things of that nature. So let's rip this bad boy open. I've been saving the cards, the card backs, just for the, the artwork. So I'll try to somewhat take this off without ruining the back too bad. So 
Yeah. Cool. It's cool. Man, we got one of these. Uh... Okay, so I've seen some things on the uh, the Facebook groups and stuff like that where some people got this in their figure. Which it's like a original drawing print type of thing of the removable parts. And I think some people have not received this, so that's kind of neat to to pick that up. Um, comic sneak attack, super awesome artwork on this stuff. Um, I got to read these comics too. Probably read them with my daughter. She'll probably get a kick out of them. We've been playing He-Man pretty much non-stop for the last week, so. She's really into it, which is really cool. We watched She-Ra yesterday for a while. All right, Ninjor. We got some rubber bands holding his hands in. Um, and then his feet. Well, so and let's just open up his weapons. It's a big bow in here. I mean, the bow is bigger than the samurai sword. Well, this is pretty cool. So there's the, the nunchucks are actually like chain. I mean, it's plastic chain, but it's, you know, it's movable. It's not like it's just one straight formed object type of thing. You can actually, you know, Michelangelo shit on this thing. So that's cool. Uh, samurai sword, flimsy, plastic, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, the bow is actually pretty rigid. Um, you know, you can bend it, obviously, but it, it feels really s secure and solid. I think it's because of the, the cross, the arrow, and then this brace type of things. Um, peep sight or whatever you want to call that. So that. And then we'll take a look at the figure now. So, again, I'm not familiar with Ninjor. Um, I uh, never had the character as a kid, but from what I can tell on here, um, let's see here, his arms, obviously, same type of movement. Um, all the joints seem pretty decent. Not going to force anything, but everything seems to be in working order on the arms and the hands and the waist, and it's not loose. His head's not very loose, so that's cool. Um, the thighs move nice. The knees move really nice. No issues there. The feet swivel, or the shins, I should say. And then the foot part is on the ball joint, obviously, so you can move that around whichever way you want. So that's cool. Um, the, uh, the top part of him I'm sure if you took off his torso or if you popped off his head and popped off his arms, you'd be able just to pull that off if you wanted to. And it's an extra piece of plastic. It's pretty pliable. So that's kind of neat. You could actually take that off if you wanted to. I'm not going to remove anything, but just let, like, let you guys know. Um, he's got a spot for, looks like his samurai sword. Hold that. And it looks like this one here will hold the, uh, the nunchuck. Might just hang there like that. Not another spot for that, so I'm guessing that's what that's for. And we'll take a look and see how he holds on to his bow. Um, I'm guessing it's just like this. Which seems to be very... Got a, got a handle on that pretty nice.
So here's the bow, very secure in his hand. Um, everything works really nice on him. All the joints work great, no issues there. Um, pretty neat look, little figure. I mean, again, I'm not a big, wasn't a big fan of Ninjor. I never really um, saw him in the in the cartoons when I was a kid. It definitely came after I stopped watching it or stopped following it, whenever that was. But I'm looking forward to getting the uh, the Encyclopedia Toys, Master of the Universe Toys by Pixel Dan. Um, I pre-ordered that on Amazon. And, um, you know, if there's one guy that knows everything about Master of the Universe, he is definitely the guy. So I follow his, uh, subscribe to his page. Um, I'm almost certain you guys are aware of him. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that book and just kind of reading up more on some of these characters on the toy side to see um, when they came out and things like that originally. But, um, yep, again, the... Numchuck moves, which is really cool. And uh, so that's where, that's an Injor. Super neat character. Um, my daughter is gonna dig him. She's really into ninja stuff lately for some reason. So I'm trying to see if I can get him to stand up. But pretty Ninjor. Okay, next up, Hordak. Um, again, we talked about the. This one actually is pretty good, except for the corner. I got dinged up pretty good. Um, I got all these from Big Bad Toy Store. I got a huge box of like the pile of loot. Um, and I finally released it to ship to me. Awesome thing is Big Bad Toy Store is only like two hours away from me. So they shipped it Friday. I got it on Saturday. FedEx. So Hordak, um, same type of bubble. Let's take a look at the artwork. Which looks amazing. So, obviously, his portal here. You can call it, go to Cray, Castle Grey Skull, but we see Modulok, uh, Mantena, Leech, Grizzlor, and some Horde Troopers back there. So, I'm sure those will probably be released as well. Um, let's see, look at the eyeball on this thing, whatever that is. I don't know. Hordak vows vengeance as he marches his evil horde into battle to conquer all of Eternia. Uh, it comes with a crossbow that we know. And also he's got this uh, like gauntlet, gauntlet thing on his arm too that we'll see. So let's do it. I'm gonna free him up, change the battery. I almost run out of juice here. Got a nice cape on him. All right, let's see if this does quick. Again, we got another one of these blueprints. Okay, so camera went out. Um, we got the uh, removable part diagram with Hordak as well. I was just saying that we did not get it in wave one or two from what I know. Um, I don't know if it's in three though. I haven't opened those up yet, but those are kind of neat. And then the uh, sneak attack. Same comic as the other folks in the wave. And then we got Hordak. So Hordak obviously from She-Ra series. Um, let's see his hands. He got good movement in his shoulders and his head. Um, his, uh, his elbow straps are definitely um, movable so you can you know, make sure they're nice and tight on his arms. Gauntlet feels like it's different, but it's just painted. So 
So there's his elbow. Looks good. Elbow looks good. Shoulders working good. Arms moving out. All right. Um, wow, it looks like his whole armor is like a big shell that you could probably take off. Um, it looks like the cape is kind of glued on, so don't make sure you don't pull on that too hard. That might get ripped off. But it looks like you could actually take off his armor if you wanted to. Let's try that. Looks easy enough. Yep. If, we, if you popped off his head, you could take his armor off, no problem. Just got a regular um, like He-Man sculpt body. You know, it's not the furry one. And I'll put that stuff back together here in a minute. Um, let's see here. We got the legs move good. Knees move good. Got no issues there. Shins move. Really loose shin. This one anyways. Um, foot. Foot seem pretty tight. So, um, paint job wise, I mean, definitely could be better, but I mean, there's a lot of detail on this figure. So, I mean, it's not like it's the easiest thing to do is to paint that little thing red. So overall, it's a really neat looking figure. I like it. Here's his uh, gauntlet thing. So it's very pliable plastic. This one goes on his arm. Yeah, it looks like it's got a little strap here. Fit through. If it will fit through. Oh, there we go. It looks like it's got to go through the thing and pull it up and it's under pretty good. Oops. That's that, and then, wow. I wonder if you can wear this and shoot the crossbow at the same time. I don't think so. I think you gotta choose one or the other by the look of it. Yeah. Or put it on this hand. There we go. This crossbow is huge. It's nice. I mean, it's, you know, totally recognizable accessories for Hordak, right? I mean, you know that that's his crossbow. You know that that goes on his arm. It wouldn't fit with any other character very well. So, colors look really good. The face sculpt and paint on this is really nice. So that's cool, you know, I'm happy with it. I know my daughter will be happy that I'm allowing her to play with them now. <laughs> She's a big Beastman fan. All right, so there's a Ninjor and Hordak from the Origins Wave 4. And um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with them, you know, no, no issues with it really. Uh, a couple loose little joints here and there, but better than having them tight and breaking. So, um, if you guys enjoy the content, you know, please think about subscribing to the channel. I would uh, really appreciate that. And like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know if you guys got these uh, schematic type pieces of paper in yours. Just kind of curious because I've kind of heard mixed reviews on that. And, um, you know, hit the hit the bell for notifications when I put out new videos. And um, appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, later.